Welcome to Factory Life Distillations Part 10. This is the last episode before the summary. I will discuss the factory farm economic model. How do we create wealth? The short answer is that we integrate the material production of the design for which we do not get paid with the material production of the objects for which we may get paid. The simple answer is we produce our wares and sell them on the open market. The only rule is we're not going to monopolize production because we're open source. We thus capture the value of our labor and the full value of it unlike working for somebody else. Only 9 to 5 that I like personally is going to bed at 9, waking up at 5. Our economic model has further details. We're developing a replicable, vertically integrated, open source, community supported, flexible fabrication model. We do vertical integration, in our, in our case carrying out several tasks under one roof, from the growing of feedstocks, designs, parts fabrication, assembly, marketing, to public relation functions. We're flexible because the, fl the fabrication facility that we're creating will support multi-purpose production. We are community supported and that's the big point. That means that we engage in open collaborative design and development, raise money from many interested stakeholders, and we build the production infrastructure with that money. The agreement there by voluntary contract with the crowds is that we provide production at cost. The latter is an important point because it's a, it's a hint that we can compete with the major corporations by leveraging crowd support for development and financing. The key to this is the at cost part, which is clearly more attractive to the consumer than paying for the four to six time typical cost, greater cost, found in the st standard industrial model. Such a model has cost increases over the true costs of materials and labor by virtue of various waste in the form of development costs, financing, overhead, stockholder profit, interest, bureaucracy, inventory, transportation, legal, marketing, PR, and other costs. We are proposing a post-industrial model where you pay only for materials and labor and all these other costs are simply paid by somebody else, distributed to a large group. In particular, we raised $5,000 that paid for our present workshop. We leveraged crowds to develop design, such as for the CB press. In short, the materials are around $2,500, and if we charge $50 an hour for labor, we expect the total price to be as low as $3,500 if we optimize production to 20 hours with a torch table. It's likely that the initial cost may be higher, though, as we go through the learning curve and fine-tune production until we master the fabrication procedure. Still, the cost will be way under the twenty-five to 50000 from the nearest competition. While experience only will tell, we are convinced that the model we're demonstrating will receive widespread adoption. That's a tall order. However, basic logic indicates that if a community-supported manufacturing operation succeeds in fabricating items of at least equivalent quality as the commercial production, then the lower consumer cost will simply annihilate the competition. This applies to many assembly, fabrication, intensive products, and even to products that come from automated factories. Engines, solar power generators, cars, tractors, power tools, just about any machine or process equipment falls into this category. In this group, most tools of agriculture, transportation, energy, housing, and some others are included, so we're talking about a widespread area of infrastructure needs. We'll know more about this theory on May 1st after we go into CEB production as the first test case of our economic model. Now here's a concept that we're also applying, and that's the concept of recursion, introduced to me by Nathan of EffortlessEconomy.com. This concept means that we go one step back in our fabrication to making our own parts, such as by metal casting. For example, with a CB press, that means that we cast the structural members and eliminate the cost of the raw steel 
by substituting with labor of metal casting operations. We have actually come up with a theoretical cost structure formula, which you can see on the wiki, based on our workshop's planned ability to cast 300 pounds of steel per hour, and assuming a day's labor costs $200 at $25 an hour. The formula shows a predicted CEB machine cost of $1,400 instead of about $3,500, and we are talking about our sales price, where most of the cost that we, that we receive is in the form of labor. Think of it this way. If we pay a thousand dollars for structural steel, we can sp spend eight hours in labor or two hundred dollars to produce the same value by casting from a hundred dollars worth of scrap. Clearly we come out ahead by st substituting labor for materials. This works for a win-win situation as consumers pay less for the product and the product makes more money for us because we capture more of the value of labor, even though the sale price may be lower. This is almost magical and may have been impossible before the advent of digital fabrication. We want to prove this by developing our metal casting ability by this year. It's very exciting stuff. So you see we're, we're following two tracks at Factory Farm. The first is the development of the products for which we pay with the donations to the Thousand True Fans campaign. We also in, engage in a production as discussed above as an ultimate test of our product development capacity, plus as a test of our business model, which we then test for replicability by training others. And our ultimate product? It's the entire package. For sake of replication, the cheapest route to attaining the entire package, all the GVCS tools, such that you can build yourself a sustainable regenerative community, an enterprise, or some other undertaking, is to invest your time for two years with us in an immersion training program. In this program, you have the option of paying your way through school, so-called, by production using your newly learned skills. All in all, for a few thousand dollars, you can build yourself an entire infrastructure as a result of the immersion program. You graduate with the technical skills, theoretical background, and a package of tools that you will have built and then can take with you. We certainly think this is better than college, where you leave as a dependable cog with debt and no practical skills. Opinion of author. For those of you who feel that you're trapped in a system by debt, you can sell your home, take your money, and run, buying yourself a parcel of land somewhere where there's less people. Then we can teach you how to live regeneratively and as a part of a productive global P2P economy fueled by open business models and open design. The only trick to this is getting past your ego and gaining a whole new skill set. This is not for everybody, but if you're hungry for a way out, we would like to create an option for you once, once we've got the entire GVCS package and the education program to support it which we are planning to develop within two years from GVCS completion. Then our work is done. The final goal is abundance, but I'm, I must explain what this term means. Abundance is everywhere around us. To tap abundance, we must know how to produce, how to turn dirt into gold. And we must learn to be wise and not wasteful and not greedy. Then we have abundance. Plants and animals shower you with food if you can maintain a diversity of them in, in an ecological balance. Personal fabrication will produce for you if you can feed it with high skill and open design. Solar power feeds your energy needs. The fundamental ingredient in all of this is skill and wisdom towards ultimate responsibility, autonomy, and peer production. There's no magic to abundance. It's hard work and an evolved mindset is needed beyond the world of scarcity. Or you can remain in the present world, struggle to produce more and more, a new green revolution, some new technology, until we all live in test tubes like in a matrix or something like that. But where is enough? That's where the wisdom comes. Well, that's about all for our economic model. Maybe there's something in it for you. And if so, please support it.